Hello my friends and welcome back to the beautiful world of modded Subnautica. What I have for you today is incredibly exciting. You know, oftentimes we talk about the Return of the Ancients as the most ambitious mod that is currently out there for Subnautica and while I certainly think it is up there, there is another one which has released not too long ago that I believe is pretty much on the same level even if it is in a different category. Now some of you guys might remember from the original Nexus website FCS Studios. This group of modders used to make utility mods for Subnautica which were frankly excellent. And then at one point the website did a bunch of policy changes and they pulled most of their mods and you can't really find them there anymore. Well I am extremely happy to announce that the full suite of their mods called Automation has been released and today I am finally going to be checking it out. Now when you jump into the game, I don't want to spoil too much. The first thing you might notice is that now there is a new marker on your HUD, the Altera Hub Fabrication Facility, so why don't we go check it out? Uh, nothing like traversing the cold, terrifying waters of Subnautica in a trusty Seamoth at three times the speed nonetheless. Now arriving down here, you might be a little confused as to what exactly we're looking at. Well, it looks like a piece of the Aurora, or perhaps a piece of another wreckage, with only one way in, so let's go check it out. Now, entering inside, you see these all-new custom interiors, security and info. Okay, let's see. Ah, but look at that. I mean, even just the custom doors, like, how freaking cool is that? Now, we would need access to security booth to unlock. Okay, well, let's keep going, I guess. I mean, just look at the amount of new custom models in here. This is just scratching the surface. Like, we've barely gotten started here. Okay, there's the fabricator room, but we would need a four-digit code, and that thing is not even on, so I don't think we can use it. All right, now, there is a joke to be made there, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> okay, I found this little electrical box here. Okay, so there's more electrical boxes that we need to repair, it seems. Um, but I saw another thing down here. Let's see where this goes. Ah, would you look at that? We are in the control room now, but I, I can't really do anything yet because everything seems to be powered off. Yeah, no power because we're in emergency mode. Please replace power cells. Ah, so we need five power cells, but it's obviously a bit of a grind, but uh, nothing the power of console commands cannot do. Okay, here we go. Let's reactivate. Ooh, lovely. Look at that. Ah, the FSC data box. Now, of course, I'm in creative now, but if I wasn't, you'd be able to pick something cool up here, and I'll show you what that is in just a second. So now that we have reactivated this, yes, I believe we can make our way here. Boop, 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 I'll let you guys figure out what the uh, correct code is, not gonna spoil it. But there is another data box, and more importantly, it looks like there's the generator. Hey, one more quick code, and here we are, what have we here? Error, please repair all electrical boxes, one out of five, and enter a code. Alright, it's repair time. Further electrical boxes in need of repair. Further electrical boxes in need of repair. Further electrical boxes in need of repair. Yes, I think there are further electrical boxes in need of repair. Further electrical boxes. Now, enter passcode. Hello. Ah, look at that. I am your personal assistant embedded in your FC Studios PDA. Holy crap. Alright, so this is the FCS Studios, I wouldn't call it a suite, because it honestly comes with so much freaking content, it's unbelievable. But first, let's hop back to the safe shallows, shall we? Now, pressing F2 will bring up this PDA. So first thing we gotta do is go to account, and we're gonna have to create a new account. Now you can see there is a lot of stuff here, and it can be a little overwhelming, but don't worry, I'll, I'll take you guys through it. So first, let's create a new account where you need a full name, which Bacon the Crisp. There we go, my epic gamer name. All right, after filling out all the details, Thank you for creating a temporary Altera account. Let's take a look at what we actually have here. So down here is my account, where you can see I have a balance of zero, and I'm kind of accumulating debt. Now you might know that during the events of Subnautica, the player does actually accumulate debt for all the resources they collect because Altera kind of owns the planet by the time you're on it, hence where the debt and credit system comes into play. Well, at least kind of. Now you can see some additional menus here such as teleportation, that one is beautiful, I'm sure you can imagine. We have encyclopedia, which kind of opens everything that is to do with these mods, and then, of course, the best one, the store. Now opening this bad boy up, besides having 
a ton of options such as shipments, returns, and like your shopping cart, is kind of split into seven main categories. You have home solutions, which are plentiful and absolutely incredible, ranging from stuff like a crew bunk bed to a microwave, paper lounge bar, or an Altera paint tool? What on earth? We have life solutions, which I believe I don't currently use any, energy solutions, which are essentially just ways to generate energy for your base, such as a massive solar panel, an underwater turbine, or perhaps a wind surfer operator, and of course, there you have other categories such as storage, production vehicles, or miscellaneous. Now, the way all this works is, in effect, fairly simple. As you build more things, you will accumulate debt, and in order to alleviate that debt, you have to collect materials and sell them back to Altera, more or less. Now, the amount of tools to your disposal here is absolutely incredible. Now, look at all this freaking stuff. It actually even works. You can literally cook on the stove, and I built maybe what is essentially like 5% of all the things you can build, including this bad boy, which, yes, it's a teleport. For teleportation, just to kind of show you how this works, I'm going to build a little platform right here and give myself one more teleporter. Now, the way this is going to work is that you can come here and rename this teleporter to be whatever, so for example, the Safe Shallows platform, and now you can add this to the global network. If I was to go back to my base then, name this teleporter, I don't know, and also add it to the network, entering the global network will now show me all of the teleports which are available well, on the network. Let's see how this would work. I will select the Safe Shallows platform, confirm, and look at that. Just like that, we have effectively teleported. How freaking cool is this? Now, the amount of stuff that you can build does not end here. Let's take a look at some of these absolutely incredible power solutions. Right here, we have the Altera Solar Cluster. I mean, look at that charge going up. It's absolutely incredible. But of course, as you can imagine, if I wasn't in creative, this would be accumulating quite the debt. So why don't we think of a way to maybe get rid of that? Using something like the ore consumer, for example, let me place it down here somewhere, it allows me to put in ore, and based on how rare it is, get back some credits. In this case, I give myself some silver, which I can promptly add here. And now, once engaged, yep, I already started it, as you can see, it uh, shakes quite a bit. This should now be sending some credits over to the hub, which is built down here. Now, another amazing feature, which goes for pretty much all of these, is that you can press I on your keyboard, and that will open the encyclopedia, giving you a very detailed report about what exactly that specific thing does. And as you can see, my balance has been added, and I am now a couple of credits richer. Now, just to kind of demonstrate a few more things, I also added some production things, such as Hydrophonic Harvester? Uh, yeah. Data storage for 48 items? I have no idea what any of this means. Put it into a server rack? I'm like a freaking kid at a candy store. There's so many options, it literally cannot pick. Okay, so here's my server rack for the base. Every base needs one, of course. You also have this, which I just randomly built. This is a drone docking station. You can, like, arrange shipments of drones. I have no idea what that means, but you can do it. Okay, if it hasn't been obvious by now, I have no idea what I'm doing or how most of this stuff works. I mean, these are some, like, genuinely impressive mechanics, and honestly, I just have to applaud the amount of work that has gone into this package. If you go onto the website, which will, of course, be down in the description, you can see the absolutely incredible amount of work that has been done on all this. If you open something like the Energy Solution, Solutions, for example, you can click on learn more and you'll get detailed information about every single piece of hardware this adds with a unique model, unique animations, unique voice lines, and honestly, that is just absolutely incredible. And of course, all of it is for free. So I compel you guys, if you have the ability, go check out the website, try out these mods, and if you like them, go support the creators because they're putting in amazing work absolutely for free for all of us to enjoy. But anyways, that brings us to the end of this video, so I really hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. All of those would be very much appreciated. If you have other mods you would like me to check out, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. And with that, I'm gonna wish you all a beautiful rest of today, and I'll see you all in whatever next video I make. Bye bye.